everybody welcome to wide family farm i got something in the mail today which i'm so excited to reveal to you so let's take a look once again garden state gardener has really overdone himself and i got a bunch of ladybugs in the mail he knows i have been struggling with aphids and i'm so excited to put these in the garden and i'm such a dork because <laughs> i was like i even got a ladybug sticker i'm so excited i'm gonna put that on my a YouTube board but um so I got this nectar stuff so you have to spray it um where you're gonna put them and um look at them they're alive I don't think we had this last time yeah I sprayed it on it on the um it comes with a lot of information it says to release them on a cloudy day and today is super cloudy so I'm super excited there's lots of stuff in this little book that teaches you like all about the bugs and then um teaches it shows you what they have too okay so i went ahead and sprayed this whole area um i'm se separating ladybugs because i want to put some of my cucumbers where the cucumber beetles are um the cute the ladybug is known to eat the larvae of the cucumber beetle so i'm gonna definitely release them over there and then i'm gonna put them over here as well so um, this is the fun part. So I sprayed as much as I could. And I made sure I got inside here too. Not just on the outside of the... All right, so let's go ahead and release these bugs. These buggers are anxious to get out of here. So look at that. They're so cool. Doing this just the end so that I can kind of control... So they don't all come rushing out because look at them. Look going. at them rushing out though. That's where I had an issue like last year. I can't thank Joe Garden State Gardener enough for doing this for us. He's so awesome. He's such an awesome person. And yeah, they're just all over the place. All right, dear, we better find another spot. Okay, so we're going to find another spot real quick because they're starting to rush, bum rush the bag. Okay, so... I went ahead and sprayed in here too, sprayed on the ground. Some of these things are all over. Really hoping that they really get these bugs because they don't deserve, they don't deserve my cucumbers. I worked hard for them, not them. So, spraying. You spray up under the plants? Yeah. I got to come in here too and tie back a lot of the, my God, Court, what are you doing? Sorry. So I'm just spraying as I go here. A nasty squash bug right there. Yeah. And I can't get it. It's like... Oh, Jesus. Christ sake. You see it? Like it's peeking. No, I don't. Where is it? On what? Where? Right there. <clears throat> Where the hell did it go? Oh, I think the reason why I don't squish the squash bugs that much because oh I'm getting they're, overwhelmed here. They're disgusting. <laughs> you sprayed the bag. I, I gotta put this down or something. I'm, I'm completely covered. In yeah, them. they're like nuts. They're crazy. We already had a little bit of ladybugs from last year. You could tell that they came back, which is really awesome. Um, but obviously we don't have that many. And then I'm about to spray the zucchinis. Just watch your step through here. Okay. So you yeah. have one heading towards you. Yeah, I don't want to step on any. Yep, they're congregating. Well, I think it's crazy. Some people release these suckers in their house. 
My grandma always said it was good luck to have ladybugs in your house. 3,000 of them? I don't know about that, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people like people that grow stuff in their house that get aphids in their house. They release the ladybugs in their house, like in their grow closet or whatever. Huh. Should really hope these babies do their job. They're already on my cucumber plant. Boom! Look at that. That's a big one too. <laughs> And it'll protect my peppers. Aphids love peppers. Yeah. Look at all these suckers. Yeah, last year I just left the bag there because I, I had a really hard time like getting them all out of the bag. I want to go ahead and open this bag up further so that they can get, you know get out easier. Can do this without squishing anything. And we'll just come back later and remove the bag. Make my day, cucumber bugs. <laughs> That's how I feel about this. I feel like I'm the Terminator. I hope they start mating right away. They said they would. Bring it on. Oh. Just up there's a few on the ground. All right, let's go over to the squash. Whatever. Woo! Oh, there's one flying. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spray the zucchini. And there it is. There we go, that's a little bit better. Cucumber bug. <laughs> It'll be turning out like something. I ain't messing around this year. Well, I forgot to tell you the good news. Hmm. The female duck that was with Spike, she's still alive. Where's she at? She was here this morning. Looking for Spike? She, I think she went back to sit on eggs. That'd be my guess. Oh. That's why we haven't seen her. So I'm hoping she comes back with... And she followed me around. Like, she wasn't like really... She wouldn't let me touch her, but she wasn't afraid of me. Yeah, that's good. Now you're washing off all the... Um, yeah, that's why I was trying to avoid it earlier. I you to spray it down inside. Like here. She's trying to get, like, the backs of the... Where I know the stuff is. Ooh, like right here. Got a bunch of eggs over here. Oh my god, the whole back of them leaves is covered in eggs. Yeah. Let me get on this side and get inside. Oh, there's a squash bug, but I don't think it's alive anymore. I yeah. Twisted. Twisted I'm getting the, the stuff. Okay. And then when re you release them, you want to release it to the nasturtium too, I guess. I don't well, know. Go wherever they want. Let's be honest. I guess wherever there's food. Yeah, 
cutting open the bag. Okay. He's cutting open the bag. It's like they know when there's a hole in the bag because it's like a bum rush. <laughs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, sprayed a little bit of that nectar right there. Have at it. Oh, they're already attacking them. They're attacking those eggs right now. Yes! Like immediately upon release. Bring it! <laughs> oh, They are. I release them, they're attacking. Have you guys ever seen ladybugs attack aphids? Look at them. That's cool because I've actually have never seen them actually attack aphids. You don't normally see that in the garden. This is like a scary movie if you were afraid of ladybugs. Look at this. <laughs> they think you're sweet, honey. Yeah. Good thing they don't these aren't the Asian ones that you would have been bit by now. Pretty cool to see them attacking. Uh, yeah, they're on it, man. They ain't playing. Yeah. I'm gonna take some more back over here and let them get right to it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Your whole arm is covered. <laughs> oh, poor guys. I'm gonna set this down in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna take these guys that are stuck to my arm over to the hey, bubbles the oh yeah the borage has ton of it That was awesome. Yeah. They are pretty cool. Looks like they're getting rid of her mating already there. There's two of them. But, uh. I just really hope that they get the, all the cucumber bugs and all that stuff off the zucchini. And how I read, I forget where I was reading it. They said that they are effective against those too. I don't know how effective, but like I'm seeing them everywhere now. We're just having a heyday. That was the second bag you released, yeah. Cool. What did I just see? There's two, look like they're mating already. See them on top of each other. <laughs> ones on the back of this have yeah. been on it ever since they came out which is awesome
We'll try not to shake this one that much because they're all like hunched over on the back of that thing. Having a good old feast. <laughs> I don't know what would happen if you put that on the inside of the zucchini, like inside there. I did. Oh, you did? That's why there's not as many in it. <laughs> a lot of them have gotten off already. Right there on. All right, I'm just gonna set it in there. And then we'll... Oh my gosh, they're all over the back of this one. What? This. Oh yeah, they're loving that. These ladybugs are probably the biggest I've ever seen. Look how big they are. They're huge, even. Yeah, they're, they're definitely eating them eggs. That one has an egg, too. It's pretty cool to actually get in the... See them do it? See them, yeah. Okay, so I did a major score and I found these comfries. By the way, this is not something that grows in, they don't like sell them in normal greenhouses. You really have to look for it. So I went to a greenhouse that was having a sale and selling their hanging baskets for like 10 bucks a piece. And I didn't want a hanging basket because it's getting later in the year. And then I turned and I looked and I'm like, I see this plant that has um, purple flowers on the top. And I said, is that comfrey? And the woman's like, yeah. And I'm like, do you sell that here? And she's like, oh yeah, we have some left. And I'm like, I'm like, I'll take whatever you got. And she's like, here. And so she gave me three of them. They were eight bucks a piece, but I thought it was a big deal because there was, um, there's a lot, a lot in there in um, one pot. So I thought that was a good deal. So I got them and now we're planting them. Now, this is what I was told about comfrey. Um, now you plant it around like your pear trees, your apple trees and stuff like that. And it works as a fertilizer. It pulls the nutrients from the soil and brings it to the surface um, for your trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and, now they said it needed full sun as well. So I didn't really know where exactly to plant it in my food forest because as you can see, it's a bunch of trees and stuff and it's not a whole lot of light. But if I plant them on this side, the sun, it gets direct right over here. So I think they will do really good right here. So I just gotta plant them on this side and let them spread. Um, the leaves and stuff can be used for medicinal purposes. I know people that drink comfrey tea. Um, you can use the leaves to heal broken bones. You can use it in salves and, um, and the leaves and stuff in the fall when they die off can be used for fertilizer, just like, you know, compost and stuff. Yeah. So it's really good to have the dried 
crushed leaves as well. So we're gonna plant it all in there and hopes that it, I have something on me and I don't know what it is. Sorry, I had a <laughs> deer fly on me, but it was one of those yellow ones. Um, so hopefully it does really good right here, but I was just so happy. I had comfrey seeds, but the more research I did on comfrey, it would have took forever um, to get comfrey by seed. So I'm so glad that I found some starts here. So hopefully it thrives. So I'm definitely putting this in my food forest. Alrighty, looks good. I don't know where we're gonna plant the other ones or where you want to. What about, I don't know though. Do you think underneath there? No? There's quite a few pears on there this year. Oh yeah, look at that. There's quite a few on this too, really. Oh, look at this, guys. I never even really noticed. I actually thought this was an apple tree. Because we've never really had fruit on this, so it, it's a different type of pear. It's a red pear or something. There's pears on this tree too. That's cool. I see one right here. Yeah. We gotta do the surround on these if we can. But yeah. So wish us luck on the comfrey. And now we gotta find another place to plant it. This is so cool. Yeah, they had some at the uh, superb uh, food independent summit, but they were all sold out of them by the time that we were able to get any. They only had a few, I guess. If you go to the, your your smaller uh, local greenhouses, sometimes they will have, it. but it's not like some of you, like the bigger ones. They for some reason they don't ever carry it. It's probably because people don't know what it is and they don't sell it. They only sell what's popular. It's cool. Some part of the going on. Yeah. I'm going to video the hollyhocks here in a minute. Huh? The hollyhocks. <laughs> They're so pretty. So they needed to be in full sun. That's what the guy said. So that's what I'm putting these in. Hopefully they do really good. And then as they spread, then I can transfer to other places and stuff like that. I was just excited to see it. Okay, so this is our last one. We probably could have broke some of this up, but I don't want to. I just want it to get really big. And then at that point, once it gets established, then I think I can break it up into other pieces. And... Yeah. I'm hoping that it will help bring nutrients to these plum trees and help them develop, get bigger, faster than just being, because our leach field from the septic is actually out this way, so the uh, there should be plenty of nutrients for the uh, comfrey to pull up. Looks great. So there we go, we have comfrey here, here, and there, so wish us luck on that, and hopefully um, we get a ton of it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you all next video.